What's up guys, it's St. Paul 54 and we have 1500 views! Yay! You go to my channel, go to the about section and you'll see that we have 1500 views. There's a few more than 1500, but I'm calling it 1500 to make this easy. So, yeah, it's not perfect guys, but... <laughs> Why do we need Jesus? <laughs> Because we're not perfect. This is a perfect example. I mean, obviously there's no sin in this. Although I'm pretty sure that big giant zero that's bigger than everything else is a sin. <laughs> Whatever, let's just get started. Alright guys. So, what we're going to do with these is we're going to actually pour confetti into them. Because I'm obsessed with confetti. It is no fact on YouTube that I am obsessed with confetti. Alright, let's get a little closer to this camera, and let's do this. And as you might be aware, guys, I'm doing this video in my pajamas. It's just pants, it's just pajama pants and a shirt. And if you're looking at the shirt, no, I have never, ever been to a youth revival. But I do love the idea of a youth revival. I do think it is... Necessary, definitely. I would like to go to one. If my church had another one, I would totally go to it. Um, this was a hand-me-down from a friend who actually organized the youth revival. One of our leaders in our youth group. You know, as I'm pouring this confetti here into the one. Let's just get something straight here. You know, children are our future. What we do to the children around us determines our future. We do right by them. We teach them well. We love on them. We have made a good impact on our future. What if we don't treat them well? If we don't teach them right, if, then we have made a bad impact on our future. The older generation decides their future by how they treat the younger generation. You know, the younger generation has a duty to respect the older generation. But at the end of the day, we have... The old generation also has a duty to teach us how to respect. Teach us with love, of course. It's like Jesus wanted to teach everybody with love. And both the older generation and the younger generation do respect each other and treat each other right. When the older generation treats the younger generation right, they are making a good impact on their future. When they treat them wrong, they ain't making a good impact on their future. Alright guys, we got the one here filled up and I'm going to fill up the rest of the stuff. Basically trying to take small pinches and just, I mean, I'm going to um, brush the remainder of the confetti that gets out of the five into the five. But I want to fill it up a little first with a few pinches. Try and make a confetti filled. 1500 here. Let's show each little view some love. Right? I just filled up the five, and what I'm telling you guys now is that this, this right here, was supposed to be my summer special. Yeah, I talked to you guys about a summer special, and this was supposed to be 1,400 views, summer special. Unfortunately, I messed up and deleted the video while trying to clear out space. So, I redid it as 1,500 views. But you still get your summer special, even though the summer is literally over tomorrow. Actually, two days. 
The summer is literally over in two days, but you still got it. It was late. It had to be changed, but hey, you got it, okay? And nobody guessed what the summer special would be from my hint, so what can I say, guys? We all make mistakes. I mean, I gave you guys the letters that would be in the title, so I literally tried everything to get the video back after accidentally deleting it. I tried some of those apps that do like a deep clean of your um, SIM card and memory and all that. I tried going into my trash and seeing if it was being healed for me. I tried everything. Some of those deep clean apps that claim to restore, um, save, restore footage on your phone, it, it restored the footage that I had deleted. However, um, it, when it came to the videos that I made on my phone, it restored them as a bunch of photos from the video rather than an actual video. Like, it broke the video down into photos and restored that rather than restoring it as the actual video I had originally recorded. So, if you mess up as a YouTuber and delete a video that you were supposed to upload... I don't have any advice on how to fix the mistake, but I do have advice on what not to do. You gotta be careful with those apps. They're great and all, they're very helpful, but some of them with restoring a video, they don't do what you want. You want the actual video restored, not it was stored as a bunch of photos of the video. So. I'm sure there was some way that worked that I just didn't find out. And I hope there is some way that works that I just didn't find out. But I tried everything. So now I'm redoing it with 1,500 views instead of 1,400. You know what? In fact, if there's any tech wizards out there who know how I could have fixed my mistake, then totally go in the comments down below and tell me. I mean, I'm not a tech wiz, but hey, you give me a couple of directions to fix it, you know, <laughs> I might be able to do it. I'm just saying, like, the things I googled and tried didn't exactly work out perfectly. I mean, it was stored stuff that I had um, in the phone, but it didn't restore it the way I needed it to be stored. The good news is that I got a lot of deleted photos back. That was interested in getting back. That is the good news, however. Though I wasn't able to fix the 1,400 views problem. But, you know, I redid the video with 1,500, so that's okay. Alright. Um, and we're done. Confetti filled 1,500. Yay. Did this take a while? Actually, really, no. What took longer is actually making the 1500. And accepting the mistakes. And accepting... <laughs> I'm actually serious about that. If there are any tech wizards, just go in the comments. I'm serious. Because I would like to know how to restore a video. And here we are. So like, subscribe, comment, add more views. That's all.